does anybody remember the Tigger movie? Well, it's a movie that is based on Tigger as he feels sad because he hasn't nobody just like him. So he thinks that he has a family. He starts looking for one, but without success. Later, Tigger realizes that his friends are his true family. I watched a lot of Disney movies when I was a kid. They were phenomenal and still are. But there's one memory that still haunts in my head for days. It always will. I was browsing on my laptop like always. At that moment, a courier rang at my door. When I opened it, he gave me a DVD that I've never ordered before. Along with it, there was a letter saying this. Hello, Walt Disney Pictures fan. We would like to share privately share an alternate ending of one of our old films, The Tigger Movie, made by a former Walt Disney Pictures animator. After you watch this, please do not screen this anywhere. Kind regards, the Walt Disney Pictures team. I was surprised. I've just got a letter from Walt Disney Pictures. Anyways, after I read the letter, I grabbed the DVD that was along with it, and I put it on my laptop. A file appeared, and its name was the Tigger Movie Alternate Ending. Move. I clicked on the file, and it was a video, but before it started, there was a warning saying this. This alternate ending of the Tigger movie was changed to match its demographic and has unsettling themes that are not suitable for children or someone with sensory issues. If either you are a child or someone with sensory issues, please don't watch this. Viewer discretion is advised. I hope it's just a parody ending. I said. Then, the video started. It started with the scene where winter came on the Hundred Acre Wood. Rue and Tigger were waiting for a letter wrote by his family, but it had not yet arrived, so Tigger became sad. Tigger, I gotta go home now. Mama will be worried about me. Tigger, Rue said and asked sadly. What am I kidding myself? They're not coming, because I might as well face it. There aren't any other Tiggers. And, I guess that means this silly old thing's just gonna stay empty for all of forever. Tigger said sadly while he was referring to his heart-shaped gold necklace. But isn't that the wonderful thing about Tiggers? Being the only one? Rue asked. You betcha, Rue boy. Oh, the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is that I'm the very only last lonely single solitary O1, Tigger said sadly. Strangely, he stopped, and he looked up at the moonlight rising in the night skylight, with owls hooting and wolves howling in the wild from an echoing distance. Tigger heard his stomach growling, his eyes turned red. Then, he started growling at Rue. T Tigger, what, what's happening to you? Rue asked frighteningly before Tigger roared at him. I was very shocked seeing Tigger roaring because he never roared before. Leave me alone, Tigger, ah, Rue shouted. Tigger was chasing him with all fours. Tigger, stop, help, somebody help me, Mommy Pooh Bear, ah. Those were Rue's last words before Tigger bit his neck and mauled his stomach. I don't care about searching my beloved Tigger family anymore. I hope no one saw that I've killed Rue, Tigger said. After saying that, he get away, leaving Rue's dead corpse on the snowy ground. I paused the video because I went to the bathroom to vomit. After I finished vomiting, I replayed the video. When I replayed it, I saw Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Owl, who were at Kanga and Rue's house. Kanga was there, of course. Owl started writing a letter for Tigger, just like it was wrote by his family. Dear Tigger, just a note to say. Just a note to say. At shall it say? Owl asked. Well, I suppose it might say. Dress warmly? Kanga asked. I see. Excellent advice. Owl said. Owl, perhaps eat well? Pooh asked while he was carrying a honey pot. Good point, Pooh Bear. Owl said. Stay safe and sound, Piglet asked. A very good idea, Piglet. Pooh said. Keep smiling. Eeyore said, wishing you all the best. Signed, your family. Marvelous work, guys. This letter looks like wrote by Tigger's family. Owl said, you're right, Owl. Pooh said, Pooh, please go to find Rue, Kanga said worriedly. I've never seen her like this before. Don't worry, Kanga. I'll try to find him alongside Piglet and Eeyore. Guys, come with me, Pooh said. Okay, Pooh. Piglet and Eeyore said at the same time. After the three left the house, Tigger came out behind a tree. Hello there, Pooh Bear. What are you doing? Tigger asked. I'm trying to find Rue alongside Piglet and Eeyore, Pooh said. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Pooh Bear, but Rue is dead, Tigger said sadly. Oh, did dear, dear, poor Rue, Piglet said. Oh, no. Tigger, where's his corpse? Pooh asked. His corpse is in the forest. Follow me, Tigger said. 
After saying that, Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore followed him. When they were at the forest, Tigger disappeared. Pooh Bear, w where's to Tigger? Piglet asked frighteningly. I think that Heffalumps and Woozles have killed Roo before, and now that they've killed Tigger, we're next. Pooh said sadly. But why would they do that? Eeyore asked. Look, there's Roo, Pooh shouted, pointing at the Joey who was lying dead on the snowy ground. Roo had blood scars all over his stomach, cheeks and head, and his nose was bleeding. Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore gasped in fear. Then Pooh raced over to Roo. He picked him up, carrying him with his arms. Tigger was right. Roo's dead. Heffalumps and Woozles have killed him, Pooh said. Just then Roo woke up. Pooh, is that you? Roo asked. Yes, it's me. I'm with Piglet and Eeyore. Tigger said that you were dead, and I think that Heffalumps and Woozles have done this to you. Am I right? Pooh asked. No, Pooh. Heffalumps and Woozles didn't done this to me. It was Tigger. He tricked you. You have to get me back home and warn all of your friends and mama before Tigger comes back to kill all of you. Roo said, while he was coughing in his last words before shutting his eyes. Oh no, Roo. Oh, bother. Pooh said before he started to cry. It's all Tigger's fault that this happened. Eeyore said, Tigger betrayed us. Now he's savage, and if we don't get out of here, he'll kill us too. But we must hurry back and get Roo home before Tigger finds us since he was talking about that we've been tricked. Pooh said sadly, but sudden demand in worriedly. I don't want to be killed by Tigger, I'm just a... Uh... Piglet said. But before he could finish his phrase, he, Pooh, and Eeyore heard a rustling from a bush. Oh, dee dee dear, Pooh Bear. Tigger's here, Piglet shouted. Just then, Tigger came out from the bush. Finally, you're mine, Tigger shouted before he launched on Pooh. Tigger, what are you doing? Ah, Christopher Robin, someone, help, Pooh shouted. Those were his last words before Tigger bit his neck. Pooh screamed in agony as his voice actor, Jim Cummings, he's Tigger's voice actor too, was getting tortured. Eeyore covered his eyes with his ears, while Piglet watched in horror his bear friend being mauled by his tiger friend turned predator. Tigger continued gnawing his teeth in Pooh's neck until small drops of blood can be seen dripping from his neck. Then his pupils begin to dilate. Tigger pried his teeth away from Pooh and the latter collapsed with no pulse. Tigger then sucked the blood off his fingers and sighed in relief. That was a good tasty bear, before looking directly at Piglet and Eeyore where they were carrying Roo that they were going to take him back home. The blood on Pooh was minor, but it was still shocking to see his corpse. His eyes were blank, his mouth was agape, and he was crying blood. It cut to a shot of Tigger starring at Piglet and Eeyore. However, they were off screen as if Tigger was starring at me. I felt extremely uncomfortable watching this. I closed my eyes until the starring was over. Eeyore broke the silence by shouting, Run, Piglet, run! The donkey and the Piglet, who were helping a Joey to take him home, then made a run before Tigger chased them, always with all fours. He lunged onto Eeyore and started biting him. Eeyore began screaming, but it wasn't comical. It was blood-curdling and agonizing as well, as his voice actor, Peter Cullen, was being eaten alive. The blood on the donkey was also minor, but it was still shocking to see Eeyore's corpse. His corpse was even similar to Pooh's. His eyes were blank, his mouth was agape, and he was crying blood. Piglet ran away screaming but not leaving Roo behind without him so he can find a place to hide as Tigger chased him. You can run with your Joey friend Piglet, but you and your friend can't hide, shouted Tigger. Piglet and Roo both hid it in a bush where he defends the Joey to shush him. He was very nervous and scared at the same time as he protected Roo while they both hid in a bush, and he Piglet panted to catch breath. He looked through the bushes to catch sight of Tigger, but he was nowhere to be seen. Piglet sighed in relief, then said to himself in, worriedly, Oh, d dear, what can I do now? Pooh Bear and Eeyore are dead. I left Roo to take him home, and I can't beat Tigger by myself while protecting and defending Roo in the cold snow outside. I'm so small. Oh, d d dear. Piglet explained in worriedly as he was seeing from the leaves of the bush that Tigger was searching him on all bushes just then. Roo coughed as Tigger heard the Joey's coughing sounds nearby the bushes, and he found him with Roo. Piglet screams as he looked around and sees the three figures of the arrivals. Kanga, Rabbit, and Owl were out in the snow. He tries to call for help, but no use for the little piglet that was in the bush with the wound Joey. Suddenly, he found Kanga and Roo's house as he made it to the house. Piglet didn't saw that the door was opened. So he, with Roo in his arms, came inside and take him to his bedroom. As they went inside the bedroom, with Piglet was bringing Roo to bed, 
and brought milk and cookies for him to eat. Don't worry, Rue. You'd stay in bed while I'll just call Christopher Robin to have you nurse tonight until you'll be all better first thing in the morning by tomorrow. Piglet comforted as he went outside to see for help, but suddenly he was caught by Tigger. Spare me your lies, Piglet. Your friends are gone, and I'm involved to my hunger for food, Tigger shouted before he launched on Piglet. It then cut to a view of the black shot, as I could hear Tigger roaring and Piglet letting a realistic blood-curdling scream as his voice actor John Fieldler was being eaten alive. The screaming stopped as the black screen of the scene faded to Rabbit, Kanga, and Owl, searching Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore. When they were searching them, Owl found their dead corpses. There were bloody footprints, which resembled Tigger's. Well guys, this is it. Tigger killed Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore, and I don't know if he's going to kill us too. Owl said, I hope that Rue isn't dead too, Kanga said sadly. I don't know, Kanga. I hope he's alive. First, we find Rue. Then we'll go to a safe place for not to be found by Tigger, Rabbit said. After Rabbit said that, Owl heard Tigger's roars. It seems like we're done for, Tigger found us, Owl remarked worriedly. Good evening, guys. You're just in time for dinner, Tigger said. Shame on you, Tigger. We didn't expect this from you. You've killed our friends for nothing, Rabbit shouted angrily. In that case, I'll tell you a secret. Before I killed your friends, I killed Rue too, ha 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 ha, Tigger said while he was laughing like a psychopath. Oh no, my Rue is dead, Kanga said before she started to cry. You're a monster, Tigger. Are you happy now by doing that? Rue loved you like a brother, Rabbit shouted angrily before he slapped Tigger on his face. Now you three you'll pay dearly, Tigger shouted before he roared at Kanga, Rabbit and Owl and chasing them, always with all fours. Kanga, get to your house and make sure Rue is safe at home. We'll take care of Tigger, Rabbit warned. Kanga nodded in agreement as she made it back home and opens the door and heads to Rue's bedroom and sees Rue lying in bed as she raced over to her son while uncovered the blanket and sees his naked body that got bloody scars. And face causing Kanga gasped in fearful of horror as she quickly carries him while her tears rolled through her cheeks that her son is all bloody. Rue, my baby! Kanga cried in fear as she hopped towards her son who had his bloody body and his body in his bed without his shirt causing Rue sees his mother as he coughed again in the earlier for Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore since they were all been tricked and killed by Tigger about the heffalumps and woozles that kill him in the forest. Mama, is that you? Rue asked, coughing with his eyes opened in weakly. I'm here, Rue dear. I've still got you. Just tell me whatever is going on. What just happened to you? Who has done this do this terrible thing to you? Kanga whimpered. It was Tigger. He hurts me after we try to get his letter to his family, but they're not coming. And he becomes savage and has me wounded, so now it was a trick. Until Piglet brought me home this time. Until they were killed by him too. Rue explained, coughing. That's because Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore were looking for you that in the woods they were going to receive a letter for his family during the search for you. But you were hurt that Tigger has become savage that we've been looking for you. Kanga replied in worriedly that she was going to cry as a shade of tear rolled down onto her cheek and her worried. Not much time. You have to get outside and to go warn your friends and fast so that you can tell them that Christopher Robin will nurse at my house to cure me be in the morning early tomorrow before he finds and kills you. Two, Rue said while he was coughing in his last words before shutting his eyes causing Kanga watched in fear of worried on her frightful face as her son was in his bed died as she begins to cry about her wounded son. Rue, dear, oh no, my baby, no. Kanga sobbed while crying and hugged her son that he was sick wounded. Just like she made a reference of Stephen King's Cujo, just like Donna, also known as Tad's mother, was over crying. Her son Tad was killed by Cujo. As Kanga kept sobbing as she puts Rue back into his bed while covering him in his blanket covers, causing Kanga sobbed softly and her heart broken when her son died in his bed, causing her to cry even more. This is so awful and hopeless for getting Tigger's family a letter. I'm sorry that Tigger becomes a killer that he kills you to become a savage animal in all of the Hundred Acre Woods since receive a letter for his family. Kanga sobbed in her tears of heartbroken while tucking Rue in his bed with a blanket that covered in. Don't worry Rue, help is on the way. I'll be right back to get Al and Rabbit for help to have them called Christopher Robin for help to have you nursed so you'll be better for the first thing in the morning. Kanga told in worriedly as she goes outside. But out of nowhere... As Kanga leaves his son to bed, suddenly when she got outside to seek for help, Tigger blocked her way and launched on Kanga and he killed her, scratching her so many times. Then he began to chase Rabbit and Owl. 
Tigger launched on Kanga and he killed her, scratching her so many times. Then he began to chase Rabbit and Owl. Tigger was chasing only Rabbit because Owl was flying. Then with his paws he grabbed him from his arms. Owl, what do we do now? Rabbit asked. We have to get to my house before Tigger tries to consume us, Owl said. Tigger, with a powerful jump, launched on Rabbit. Why are you doing this, Tigger? Rabbit said. Because you've always hate me for bouncing and now that I'm a predator, you'll die, Tigger shouted before he bit Rabbit's neck. Owl, watching in horror while he was flying, he get to his house. But he didn't saw that his door was opened, so Tigger came inside, slowly approaching him. Tigger, maybe we should talk this over and think about being friends and searching your Tigger family, right? Owl asked. Not a chance, Owl. I'm already hungry at the tip of my claws, Tigger shouted. Please, Tigger, don't kill me. No, 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 Owl shouted. Those were his last words before Tigger killed him, biting his neck so many times. After he killed him, Tigger heads off to Kanga and Rue's house. It cuts to the Kanga and Rue's house where it faded to inside the house of the bedroom of Rue who was healed in his bedroom in his bed, and the lights were out with the candle flame that has the wind through the window blow. Through the window while the Joey closed his eyes since he was sick and wounded with his body scars all over him. But as for Piglet has brought milk and cookies for the Joey in his table that he shall eat and drink them for later. Suddenly, he hears a door creaking open and a shadow figure with a silhouette of Tigger with his red eyes glowing came in Rue's bedroom while staring at Rue in his bed that makes the Joey woke him up with his eyes slowly and sees Tigger in his shock of surprise in his room as he growls, snarls while slowly approaching Rue. Tigger, cough, cough is that. Cough, why are you in my room? Rue asked with a cough. I have come for you since you were all bloody that I've discovered my friends take you home. But now I'm here to kill you again like I'd already done to you. I'd suggest it is time for you to die, forever. I'd even killed your mom with your friends and don't even cared about my family no more. Tigger replied while getting ready to kill Rue again. Rue tries to get out of bed to make a run for it, as the chase begins around the house and quickly hid in the closet where he was hiding from Tigger who was searching for him. Where'd he go? Oh Rue boy, hello, come out, come out wherever you aren't. You can't hide from me forever. I've got something for you, Tigger called. Rue coughed and sighs as he opens the door of Creakley as he quickly escapes from his house and opens the door to head outside by himself and escapes from Tigger as he locks the door with Tigger inside the house while Rue runs. Off to escape from Tigger that was locked inside the house, but while escaping through outside in the snowy fields of the ground, Rue was suddenly blocked by Tigger that stops him while hanging by the tree, while he feels Cleaver that was fooled by the Joey since he has him locked inside the house. Gotcha! Tigger snapped as he uses his walks in four hands and feet to walk towards Rue and asked him, Where'd you think you're going? Rue boy, he asked, in taunting of evilly, while talking towards Rue who scrambles his feet to back away from Tigger as he continues to growl at Rue causing the sick wounded Joey to fall back on the snowy ground while he coughed while he was feel like that he was going to die of demise. Tigger, please don't kill me. I'm too young and sick to die. Don't do this. Don't you even know all about that? Christopher Robin is going to nurse me in the morning tomorrow in the early to have me nurse my wounds. Rue coughed, but Tigger didn't listen as he kept growling at him as he grabs onto Rue's shoulders to have him pinned down on the ground who was ready to kill him. Tigger, why are you doing this? He cried. Rue's last words in his dying before Tigger mauled him, before his screen cut to black as I can hear Rue screaming as his actor Nikita Hopkins was sounded real and cartoony and got killed by him. After Rue was killed, Tigger stared at the screen and said this. As you guys can see, I killed all of my friends. They wanted this. I'm no longer the Tigger who liked bouncing and who was searching his beloved Tigger family. Now, I'm a predator, and I'll continue to kill the other animals of the Hundred Acre Wood, and then I'll come to kill you the same way I did to my friends. TTFN, ta ta for now. Ha 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 ha. Tigger's laugh sounded like a demon one. The video ended when I saw Christopher Robin crying at Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Kinga, Roo, Rabbit, and Owl's graves. I was shocked seeing Tigger killing his friends because he has interest on bouncing than acting like a real tiger. I showed the video to my friends, and they were shocked too. Then, I took the DVD and I threw it to the trash.